Hello, today's video we have the following content. Sam Oh Hung Legendary Character Sam Oh Hung is a legendary figure with a career in film and television for more than 60 years. The legendary Sam Oh Hung began to get involved in movies at the age of 12 and embarked on his favorite film and television path. At that time, he played a child actor under the stage name Zhu Yuan Long and appeared in movies such as Education of Love, Big and Little Wong Shianba, and Yu Fei is Born. At the age of 18, he became a dragon and tiger martial artist and has been a martial arts instructor ever since. The first film about the dragon and tiger martial arts masters was Double Swords, which won the Best Martial Arts Director Award at Taiwan's first Golden Dragon Award. In 1977, Sam Oh Hung began to play the leading role. The first film was The Three Virtues Monk Yu Chuang Miliu. Not only does he star in the film, he also directs it. Sam Oh Hung is only 25 years old this year, directing and acting himself. Sam Oh Hung is a versatile action star who has worked as an actor, director and even a film producer. In the 1980s, Sam Oh Hung opened a number of film companies and shot a large number of action comedies, such as Tiger Frog, Single Sword, Ghost Fighting, Two Dragons Go to Sea, etc. As the films in the Lucky Star series are blockbusters and often gross more than 10 million at the box office, action films and comedies have become the most successful and popular genres in Hong Kong films. In the mid-1990s, when Hong Kong movies were in a slump, Sam Oh Hung began to scale back production and went to the United States to star in the local TV series The Dragon Crossing the River. Later, he went to mainland China to star in many TV series. In recent years, he returned to Hong Kong and returned to the film industry. He has performed very well in the movies he has starred in in recent years, such as My Grandpa the Agent, Once Upon a Time and Heroes, The Legend of the Bandit, Ip Man 2, etc. Although people are old, their hair is also gray. He performs very well in action and fight scenes. As expected of him, he has been practicing martial arts since he was a child. He is not proud of his achievements. Sam Oh Hung is a versatile action star with a unique vision. He has made outstanding achievements as an actor, action director, director, producer, etc. He has made great contributions to the Hong Kong film and television industry, and also created a trend of black kung fu comedies and fashionable action films in Hong Kong. Sam Oh Hung is a very dedicated person. In order to do a good job in action design, he conducted in-depth research and innovation on Wing Chun, Jeet Kune Do, Karate, etc., with a unique style. In the films he wrote and directed, Sam Oh Hung deliberately highlighted group scenes and chose the most suitable role for each person. He has discovered many talents for the Hong Kong film industry, BVGV Classic Online Review. Sam Oh Hung worked hard to expand his acting career, integrating traditional moral concepts and new martial arts concepts into his films, highlighting simple emotions between people through dazzling action scenes. In 1986, his wife begged Sam Oh Hung's Hong family class to accept her as a female disciple. She admired Sam Oh Hung very much. Gao Lihin has long said that she will definitely choose a Chinese as her husband. Working with Sam Oh Hung not only made her interested in Chinese Kung Fu, but also made her admire this fat but extraordinary martial artist. In 1984, Gao Lihin won the Miss Hong Kong title. In the beginning, the two parties were still masters and apprentices in name only. In 1991, Gao Lihin married Sam Oh Hung. After Sam Oh Hung went to the United States to develop, Gao Li Hung became Sam Oh Hung's English teacher. With the TV series The Dragon, Sam Oh Hung became a famous Chinese Kung Fu star in the United States. Sam Oh Hung had two apprentices, one is now a top star, and the other is lying at home counting money. There is a saying in the Kung Fu world of one ancestor, two sects and three generations. Sam Oh Hung, Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan are known as the three masters of Kung Fu movies. The first thing many people think of is Jackie Chan's iconic expressions and movements, but when it comes to seniority, even Jackie Chan would respectfully call Sam Oh Hung Big Brother. Sam Oh Hung is the most outstanding actor in Kung Fu movies, and his acting skills also captured the attention of the audience. Sam Oh Hung, who is nearly 70 years old, can also be regarded as the Grand Master of that era. While opening up the market for domestic action movies, it also shows the spirit of the Chinese people in the movies. Extraordinary Life Sam Oh Hung grew up in a family with a strong artistic atmosphere. Both his grandparents were in the artistic field. 
But Samuel Hung does not look like a child from a literary and artistic family at all. Instead, he makes mischief and climbs trees and walls, causing great headaches for his family. In order for him to learn formal acting, his family sent him to study Peking Opera. At the academy, Sammo Hung also met his fellow students Jackie Chan and Yuan Bao, who would all shine in the film industry in the future. After graduation, Sammo Hung originally wanted to pursue a career in theater, but the market was not going well at the time, so he chose to pursue a career in the film industry. In the 1970s, Sammo Hung took the lead in establishing the Hung family class in Hong Kong, specializing in shooting action movies. He not only serves as an actor, but also holds multiple positions such as director, action director, and screenwriter. His representative works have also won numerous awards. Although he has maintained a short and fat body for a long time, Sammo Hung's Kung Fu achievements have made many people feel inferior. A competition with Bruce Lee confirmed his determination to keep moving forward in action movies. Although Sammo Hung mentored many artists, he only had two formal disciples in his life. One is the national idol actor Pen Yuan, who is now a household name, and the other is the low-key star Zhu Hao Long. From martial arts stuntman to Hollywood blockbuster actor Zhu Hao Long has shown amazing sports talent since he was a child. He started practicing martial arts at the age of five and later entered the entertainment industry as a stuntman. He is good at Muay Thai, Taekwondo and various movie fighting techniques, and is a very good action actor. When he was 18 years old, Zhu Hei along met director Sammo Hung and was appreciated and promoted by him. From then on, he transformed into a starring role. Zhu Hei along also worshipped Sammo Hung as his teacher and became a member of the Hong family class. After entering the Huang Jia class, Zhu Hei along found that the training here was very cruel. He often had to jump from high places to complete various actions. But he was not intimidated and instead worked harder to train his skills. Zhou's first important work was the 1985 Taiwanese film Bounce Back, where Sammo Hung promoted him from behind the scenes to leading actor. Due to some things, Zhu Hei along quit the entertainment industry for two years. This period of time also had a certain impact on Zhu Hei along's career. Two years later, Zhu Hei along went to see Sammo Hung immediately. Sammo Hung did indeed keep his promise and officially accepted him as his disciple. At that time, Zhu Hei Along had outstanding appearance and was called the chief pretty boy of the Hong family class. Although he was a hit at first, Zhu Hei Along's career did not develop smoothly, and several movies he starred in did not do well at the box office. But with his solid acting and action skills, he gradually gained recognition in villain roles. In particular, his role as the villain Chang Wei in the movie Nine Levels of Sesame Official left a deep impression on the audience. This has also become one of the most well-known roles in his acting career. Although Zhu Hei along himself did not become famous in one fell swoop, the character Chang Wei has become deeply rooted in the hearts of the people and has become a favorite among netizens. In 2001, filming of a movie Heroes Have Dreams, which tells the story of Wang Fihong, a famous martial artist during the Republic of China, was started in Guangzhou. This is another action blockbuster starring popular superstar Sammo Hung who plays the role of Wang Fei-hung in the film. Peng Yu-ian, an unknown young actor at the time, was invited to play Wang Fei-hung's apprentice in the film. For a newcomer who has just debuted, it is undoubtedly a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to work with Sammo Hung. In order to live up to this opportunity, Peng Yu-ian showed amazing perseverance and hard work. He went all out during training every day and practiced every movement to the extreme. He even practiced many difficult movements by himself in order to improve his skills. Peng Yuan persisted in training until late at night every day. Sammo Hung saw this and admired this junior. During a break, Sammo Hung came over and patted Peng Yuan on the shoulder and said, I admire you as a young man. Few young people today have your hard-working style. You remind me of the hard work I did when I first debuted. The passion of struggle. Keep working hard and you will have a good future. Peng Yuan was extremely excited when he was recognized by the masters. He stammered, Master Hong. Master Hong, I'm so honored that you can say that. I will definitely work harder and strive to be as good as you as soon as possible. At the finals banquet, Peng Yuan mustered up the courage officially asked Sammo Hung for martial arts lessons. Sammo Hung saw Peng Yuan's enthusiasm for martial arts and directly accepted him as his disciple. At the premiere, Peng Yuan, surrounded by the media, 
kowtowed three times to Sammo Hung. From then on, the two officially became master and apprentice. Sammo Hung smiled and pulled Pen Yuan up, and Pen Yuan became Sammo Hung's disciple. The media reporters present recorded this historic scene with a burst of shudder sound. Since then, Pen Yuan often studied martial arts with Sammo Hung. Sammo Hung not only taught various martial arts techniques, but also specially gave Pen Yuan a set of training uniforms to express his intention to accept a disciple. Pen Yuan respected Master Huang very much and called him Master. Although there is a big age difference between the two, they have a very good relationship. Sammo Hung loves Pen Yuan as if he is his own son. Pen Yuan has now grown into a first-line superstar in the entertainment industry. But he always maintained the humility, seriousness, and hard-working qualities he had back then. Sammo Hung still often praises Pen Yuan, saying that he will surpass himself and push Chinese Kung Fu to a higher level. This cross-generational master-disciple relationship made Pen Yuan successful and made Sammo Hung feel gratified. Thank you for watching the video. If this is your first time watching a video, please subscribe to the channel, like and leave your comments to help us develop your channel.